Well, today, history changes. NWD has been making some major changes in the past, and we did try to bring in a second, second tier title, which is the World X Championship. However, things didn't quite work out with that title, and we have a champion, and we have his brother who is also a champion. So let's unify the two titles, ladies and gentlemen. The United uh, the United Queensland Championship and the World X Championship will be unified into the United X title. DJ Havoc is the UQ champion. Arsene Sick is the inaugural and only World X champion. And only one of them. Only one, that's one, that's not two, not three, but one can lead champion for this match. So let's now take you to the ringside. Here is the unification match for the very first ever United X Championship. Well, ladies and gentlemen, we've been looking forward to this matchup since it was announced on NWD Online almost a month ago now. So we've got DJ. I've been told that one of these championships will be on the line. I'm pretty sure our, the people at home know what's going on, but the live audience don't. And the people at home know that this is going to be a unification match. And only one of them can walk away with the championship. The only problem is the superstars themselves don't know. DJ calling out his brother, RC6. And the champ is on his way, the World X Champion is on his way as the United Queensland Champion heads over. He's going to take his belt off. United Queensland Championship changed hands with DJ not long ago. It was on an exclusive episode brought to you by Battleborn Wrestling. It was also uploaded on the NWD online as well. And here comes the World X Champion. You see DJ not showing no fear at all from his brother Ryan. RC6. Formerly known as Rhino Havoc, formerly known as Ryan Lawless. So the title match is underway, and here comes the general manager, I think. This has probably been the biggest decision that the current general manager has made since being assigned by the magistrate to run WWC on Brinkman and Underlord, take care of their legal problems. He is effectively changing the championship face of NWD by unifying these two championships so we can safely credit this decision to Jimmy Jacobs and it is also very safe to say that both RC Stick and DJ are not very happy with the fact that they have to defend both their championships and the winner will take all. And it's good to see the two camera perspectives Coming up, it takes a lot of work to edit it together, but it looks damn good. Got a rubber tie there by the Havoc Brothers of Havoc. DJ with the 2008 Championship Challenge winner. He has a championship shot at the New World Heavyweight Championship any time up until the Championship Challenge of this year. 
So far he's got six months to go, uh, about five months to go to cash it in. Who knows what will happen? And I also have been hearing rumours around the place that there might be a wild card, wild card challenge coming up. I never know what's going on next in NWD, so I recommend you stay tuned to all the websites, the social sites, the main sites, the red card sites. We're earning those YouTube awards yet again, absolutely non-stop, and it is really good to see the support that NWD is gaining from the population of Australia. I may not be the most liked person in wrestling in Queensland, but at least I know how to get the job done and make an impact. So, ladies and gentlemen, meanwhile, DJ focusing his attention with those massive, massive slaps there to the chest of RC Sick. Ladies and gentlemen, how was that? Right, the chances of the Thirty times or something like that. DJ's got to do a lot of work to keep his record at this rate because Zach and Karen are catching up fast. DJ is currently the person who has held the uh, Smash Mouth Championship the longest, and it looks like he wants to keep that reign as he was talking to me backstage before. Well, he can't do much talking at the moment because he's got, his, got an arm around his neck. Referee in there making sure that it's not a chokehold that he can actually still breathe. Six picked up and put down. Ten cover. That was a massive show of strength there by DJ. Who has not had much of a um, good run of luck in the past. Because, um, yeah, you may remember about a year ago now almost, DJ was involved in a very controversial undies match. And little did we know that his opponent at the time Enjoyed that a lot more than he actually let on it. Let on to. Now here's the move. Here's the second up. The sickening drop. I think it's gone. And DJ dropped on the back of his neck. Pinball attempt, but it didn't quite work. DJ rolling around in massive pain. Lawl oh, six, sorry. I, I've been out of the game so much I'm still calling them by his old man. RC sick now picking up. His brother. Look like it's gonna go up and over. He's holding him in the air. And down onto the base of the spine. Another pin for him. Only a two count. RC Sick looking to maintain his championship run. Ever, he's not been a happy chappy since losing the new world championship to Jackson Park back at WrestleFest. And the rest is history from that one, which we really won't go into. Ladies and gentlemen, our main event for the day is PJ Twisted versus Ryan Phoenix for the Australian National Heavyweight Championship. Promises to be an extremely exciting match. Massive. Ten cover, no, not quite there. Getting the golf caught up in the action. RC is desperate to show which brother is better. RC and DJ have been training for years in the backyard, right through JDWA, FTWA, WEQ. They went down to AWL and did some matches, and now they're here at NWD trying to work out which one is superior to the other. Attempted pinball there by DJ, but it didn't quite work. And ladies and gentlemen, unfortunately, I don't mean to break up my lovely commentary, but NWD War has got to take a break. So as these two guys continue to battle it out, we do a quick camera car change. There we go. What's DJ got there? Ladies and gentlemen, the war continues when we return.